laboratories that orbit the Earth, where astronauts can live for months at a time. The first ones were the Soviet Salyut stations, and the American Skylab. These early outposts taught us a great deal about how the human body adapts to long-duration weightlessness. They were the proving grounds for the life support systems, recycling technologies, and daily routines that are essential for a permanent human presence in orbit. Today, the most important example of this is the International Space Station, or ISS. It's a remarkable achievement not just of technology, but of global cooperation. Countries that were once rivals in the space race, including the United States, Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada, came together to build and operate this incredible facility. The ISS is a floating science laboratory that has been continuously inhabited by astronauts since the year 2000. On board, crews conduct thousands of experiments in biology, physics, astronomy, and medicine. These experiments help us understand our world better and prepare for future, longer journeys into deep space. Beyond the ISS, space travel today is vital for our modern lives on Earth, often in ways we don't even notice. A huge part of this involves satellites. These machines orbit our planet and perform critical functions. GPS satellites provide the navigation that we use in our cars and on our phones every single day. Weather satellites monitor cloud patterns and storms, allowing us to predict the weather with amazing accuracy and save lives by warning of dangerous hurricanes or tornadoes. Communication satellites relay television signals, phone calls, and internet data all across the globe, connecting people from even the most remote corners of the world. Furthermore, we continue to send robotic explorers to learn about our solar system. Missions like the Mars rovers, which are like robotic geologists, drive across the Martian surface, sending back stunning pictures and analyzing rocks to search for signs of past life. We have sent probes to fly by Jupiter, orbit Saturn, and even land on comets. While these are not human missions, they are a direct extension of our drive to explore. They gather crucial data that helps us understand the origins of our solar system and identify potential future destinations for human explorers. These robotic missions are the scouts that map out the territory for the human pioneers who will follow. Looking ahead, the future of human space travel is filled with exciting possibilities. The next major destination on our map is Mars. Returning humans to the moon is seen as a critical stepping stone for this goal. NASA's Artemis program aims to establish a sustainable human presence on and around the moon, including a lunar base and an orbiting station called the Gateway. This will allow us to test the technology